today we are going to be uh, exploring the method of playing Kingdom Hearts Kai Chi, however you want to say it, Kingdom Hearts X. Uh, it's spelled like the X in Keyblade in the Ultimate Keyblade. But anyway, um, it's a Japanese browser MMO that is in beta currently. So the first thing you'll notice is this heart. This is your login button, and it says Yahoo Japanese ID. So that means we're going to need a Japanese Yahoo ID. So I've already created one, but I'm going to show you how to create one of your own. So when you first go onto the ya uh, Japanese Yahoo page, which I'm going to have a link in the description to, you're going to see that there's this, and you click New Acquisition to create a new Yahoo ID. I'm pretty sure, at least. I'm in... Uh, uh, Google Translate is going to be your best friend for this, because you see it's all in Japanese, but then it translates it to English. So, your contact email address, that's your current email address, and you can use an English one for this. And the be the way this game is easiest is because, like, it's much easier than when I did Dragon Quest X, because it's not region locked. So we don't have to use uh, a proxy, so we can just use our regular email address, then you create a new Yahoo ID. It'll usually, if you're using Google Chrome at least, generate one based on your old ID. You put your password, then you re-enter your password, same as any normal ID. To go to another thing I have linked in the description, which is these postal codes of JAP or something, then you're gonna select one of these numbers, any will do, like any of these um, however many digits this is, numbers, and then you're going to go back and put your postal code here. You're going to click your gender, and your date of birth, I'm not sure exactly how they want it, because here it says um, it's in this order, but here it says it's in a different order, so what you're going to want to do is, I'm not exactly sure, but... Just experiment, so like, I think what I did was, um, let's see, I think it might be year, and then, so you don't need to use commas, just click year, and then do the day, I believe, so, and then type in the, no, year, month, day. So, just type in in that order with no commas or spaces. Experiment with that until you get it to work. So, it took me a bit of experimenting. Just experiment with numbers there. So, just unclick you that you would like to receive newsletters, because you won't be able to understand them, and they won't be very relevant here. Uh, make the authentication to prevent, so yeah, blah, blah, blah. This is the Kapachi, and this is the hardest part, arguably. One that looks sort of legible, even if you don't understand Japanese at all. Just get one that looks sort of easier to read, not that one. I'm going to go to this Japanese virtual keyboard that I have linked in the description, and you're going to try matching the characters to those of the Kapachi. And once you have all the characters in, just copy it from this section, paste it in here, and then click. You do not have a T card, because that's like um, the, the currency or something they use in Yahoo. I am not sure what it, it is, but then you click Next Sign, and it should take you to the confirmation page where it's pretty self-explanatory. You'll just confirm like any other email address and then you'll be ready to play Kingdom Hearts Chi. You'll just click on this. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, but wait, first, before we finish up, I'm going to show you how the gameplay of this game works. Since I've already gotten my own user on it, I will show you some of the gameplay so it makes sense to you. Because it's a bit complicated at first, but it's not really a hard game by any means. It's point and click, so you don't have to remember any controls. And the story is pretty simple. So when you log in, 
um, I won't be able to show you character creation, but basically you'll be given an option to create your character, there'll be a story sequence, and there'll be um, a choice to choose your faction. I'm on the one that looks sort of like a unicorn that's on the top of the five factions, like in a ring there's one on the top that is like a unicorn. And you'll get daily bonuses and a daily uh, spin thing that'll give you different bonuses as well. So this is, these are for like redeeming uh, bonuses that you can get. So the game, it sort of works like Birth by Sleep in a way, in that it's card based. So I'll, first, oh, I've got a bunch of stuff in my inbox to redeem. Oh, and I got a new card, so that'll be good for me showing you card fusion and deck organization. So first, let's look at the deck organization. So when you start the game, you'll be given a bunch of cards, and since I just got this Mickey card, I'll push this, which this is the Equip Best Cards button. So, um, the rank is pretty self-explanatory. Gold are best, silver is second best, and I think it's brown or something that's, like, the worst. So, then you click here, and this is the save deck. If you don't save your deck, then nothing will have changed. This is my Keyblade, I'll explain more of that later, you get more Keyblades as you play. I'll explain those in a bit, though. So, now let's go to Deck Fusion. I think this is the Deck Fusion. So yeah, so this is um, Deck Organization, this is Deck Fusion. So, for Fusion, you're... So each card has three different types. There's Magic, there's Aerial, and there's Physical. So, since this card is Physical, I'll get a bonus if I fuse it onto another physical card. By clicking this, you can see different uh, categories of what your cards are. So, seeing as this goofy card is level 16, uh, it's one of my lower level cards, so I'll fuse this physical other goofy into it to level it up. Also, because you're fusing the same card into the same card, it'll do a special thing that it will um, cut your level limit for the card in half, or not in half, but it'll remove, uh, it'll add to the level limit that you can have. So, yeah, see it, it says now it's a level 20, and also it, I think, upped the level I can max it out to. So that's card fusion. There's also assist cards, which basically up your stats and your lux gain. Lux is sort of like a, like a, uh, a faction points, if you guess, that's reset daily. And you can fuse these cards the same, and any card that you fuse together will give you more, will ex receive more experience if it's the same type of card. So aerials receive more from aerial fusions, and assist cards receive more from assist um, fusions, and so on. So now there's this button, which I think is just your card list. Yeah, this is just your card list. This button, I let me just check to be sure. I don't think I figured out what. Yeah, I haven't figured out what this button does. Uh, but okay, now that we've seen how the card system works, I'll explain some other stuff. So you click this, and this will bring you to stories. So I don't have my. I'll, I'm gonna put another thing in the description that is uh, a story guide that'll tell you what the different missions are. So basically, you go into a world and you'll be given missions, and you'll do them. And I'll have the translations for those missions in the description. We'll just go here in Wonderland to show you some combat. So I think here is good. Enemies will scale to what mission you're on um, in difficulty, like in level. So, point and click controls, pretty simple, just hold the left hand, or the left, um, click to move, then when you want to fight an enemy, click on them, and it'll randomize three cards that will be used. And every action in the game uses AP, which I think stands for action points. Oh, I forgot to explain keyblades. Key I'll explain that next time. Okay, and I got a uh, uh, unicorn. 
so that's good. And that was a, well, it wasn't a really card, but it's good for fusion anyway. So when you win battles, you'll get Lux and Experience. Lux are points that uh, go towards your ranking, and Experience obviously helps you level up. Now, to regain AP, you, I don't know, sometimes it glitches out like this. Um, to regain AP, you click on this, and it'll allow you to use potions. So, I'll just show you that. So it'll pop up this. Um, regular potions restore 1 AP, and Mega Potions restore all. So, click a regular potion, then click OK to use it. And it's not giving me an option to say no, so I guess I have to. Um, or no, they don't just restore 1, they restore 10, right? But BP is something different. But first I'll explain Keyblades before I explain that. So Keyblades are... They work a lot different than they do in other Kingdom Hearts games. So, um, these are your bonuses that you get. So if you use for the regular Keyblade that's upgraded, so you'll pick up different materials at gather points, and then when you have enough materials you can upgrade them and they'll get more bonuses. So for this Keyblade, if the first card is a physical, it gets a 1.1 bonus. If the second card is magic, it gets a 1.2 bonus. And if the third card is aerial, it gets a 1.2 bonus. So it's the order your cards go in that matter. So if you get a magic card second, it gets a bonus, and so on. So, yeah, that's pretty, it's pretty easy to understand. Okay, and next, so over here you can turn the music on or off. You can change the graphic settings, which are pretty self-explanatory. So, we can also click here to go back to the hub town. Okay, and at any time you can also go into um, the shops, so the mobile shops of the game. So this one, I believe, is um, you can redeem Moogle points to randomize a card. So if I click this, it'll randomly give me a card that I spent Moogle points on. And clicking here is to use those gold golden tickets that you can get from the daily raffle. So uh, since I got one, it. And it gave me an Aladdin card. So, yeah. And also, you can, if you might have noticed, if you click, it'll skip the, uh, it'll skip the transition scene. So, yeah, I'll do more of that later by myself. And now, I will explain to you the part of the game that is a bit different. So, these... the AP works like this. If you hover on an enemy, it'll tell you how much AP you need to engage that enemy. So for this one, you lose 5 AP. Also, for gather points, it takes 1 AP to gather from them. And they'll give you materials for upgrading the Keyblade. Also, let me just find a treasure chest. Over here, there's a treasure chest. You click on it, it'll take 3 AP, and it'll give you a random card. These blue points are interactive items or quest items. So, yeah, to jump over something, just drag over it, and you'll jump it. And it explains that in the tutorial with images. So, yeah. Then, it, I, the thing I... All posts will talk about missions, but basically you click on a character and they'll give you a mission sometimes, and then you do that mission. It's pretty self-explanatory once you have the guide that's the English translations. And now we'll talk about the faction portion of the game that I know of, which is raid bosses. So you click this, and you see I, my faction failed the last raid boss, but basically you'll be pit against another- th oh, but we won in Lux for that day, our faction won. So I got some bonuses. So I'll explain the, how that worked in a second. So every day you'll be brought to this introduction to great bosses. So you'll get an encounter. So you click this and you'll immediately get your first attack. Which works just like a normal battle except you'll die really easily. So yeah, I'll just, I'll show you a little bit more combat. Basically, it just auto-combats, but anyway. Oh, 
also I can't really show it now, but in a regular battle, if you die, not a raid boss, you'll be able to choose to revive, which costs, I think, it costs however many AP it took you to get into the battle. So basically you're getting into the battle again, but the enemy has the same amount of AP as when it killed you. Oh, see, I got full bonuses for that. Anyway, um, and if you don't have enough AP, you can choose to use a potion to give you more. So you can revive that way. But anyway, this is what BP is used for, so you can use BP to gain ex um, extra attacks on the raid boss. So if I click this, it'll use three of my BP, which are up here, and I'll get extra attacks. Using this, we'll use ethers to restore BP, just like potions. And that's pretty much all you need to know, except I haven't explained this part of the shop yet. Which I... So this is sort of a cash shop type thing, except um, it's like loyalty point system, sort of. So you'll get these silver coins for doing various things and you can spend them on different things. So, yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty good. So, and every day the items will refresh, except for cosmetic items, which you can only get once, obviously, and they'll stay with you forever. So, today I'm gonna wanna get one of these with the 10 points I have, because um, these are crucial for low level um, Keyblade upgrades, so I'm gonna click this one now it's sold out, so clicking that button was yes. Basically, the shorter one is usually yes, I think, I'm not sure. But anyway, you also get Lux for the boss fight, I forgot to mention that. And whoever's faction gets more Lux at the end of the day, or, or, some, or the week, I'm not sure, is the faction that wins and they get bonuses. And also there's cosmetic items, so if you go into here, this is also, I'll show, be able to show you the character creation, it's not that interesting. But before, I bought a Riku um, cosmetic item, so now I have Riku's shirt on, and you can select these shirts from the beginning of the game. All these other things are just hairstyles, hair color, eye, or face styles, and skin tone. So, yeah, then you click this to save that appearance. And that's pretty much all you need to know about the gameplay. If you have any questions, just put it in the comments, and I'll tell you what to do. Just ask for help, and I'll put the links to my assets that I've been using in the description. Also here, you can uh, hover over people to see their names, and you can click on them to see their profiles, but most people's pro everyone's profile is in Japanese, so it's not really that helpful. Although I think some of us are English, like... But his profile is still written in Japanese, but he appears to be um, English, just like like in North American or something. So, yeah, that's all you need, need to really know for now. Thanks for watching, and hope you get to enjoy this game. It's not as good as Dragon Quest X, but take what you can get, and hope to see you out there. Um, join me on the uh, unicorn-looking faction, and I'll see you later. Bye.